Hello, Monica. Hello, Monica. Hello, Evis. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you today? It's good. Very fine. Excellent. Thank you. I feel good. It's Friday. <laughs> In the cuerpo lo sabe. Yes, yes. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Um, who can tell me uh, what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What information? Do you remember from yesterday's class? We use for a bit and the grammar focus. Perfect. Can you give me an example of using did? Example using did. Yes, Monica. Did you, uh, did you go to cinema? Very did good. Go to... Perfect. Did you go to the movies? American people, they don't say cinema. That's a Latin word, cinema. Normally, American people say, did you go to the movies? To the movies. Uh -huh. Okay. Did, did, yeah, that's more, uh, more natural. Did you go to the movies? Like this. It means, fuiste al cine. Did you go to the movies? Did you go to the movies? Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's plural for the movies. Correct. For the movie or That's movies? Right. Movies, the movies. Eh, se escucha como, como que si dijeras, fuiste a las películas. But mm -hmm. that's not the meaning. The meaning is, fuiste al cine? Ah, okay. Si lo interpretan. Caliche? Es como un caliche? Ah, you could say it's informal, more or less. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, very good, Monica. Thank you for your example. Uh, select somebody, Monica. Okay. Um, I... Choose you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I choose the uh, Marta Menjivar. Marta Menjivar. Marta Menjivar. Hello, teacher. Hello, Marta Menjivar. Good evening. Can you give me an example? making a question with did. Okay. Did you work on Saturday? Perfect. Did you work on Saturday is correct. Marta, select somebody. Okay. I select two Evies. 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 Hi, good evening. Hello, Evies. Good evening. Hello. Can you give me an example asking a question with the auxiliary verb did? Okay, what did you no what did you do on your last vacation? Excellent. What did you do? on your last vacation. Evie's select somebody. Okay. Um, David Ernesto. David Ernesto. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening, Good evening David. David, give me a question with the auxiliary verb did. Uh, did you did you drive yesterday? Perfect. Did you drive yesterday? Awesome. 
at this moment, uh, does anybody have any questions related to the auxiliary did? Okay. Now, at this moment, I would like for everybody to go to this uh, video. This is a review. Past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used it? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Okay, so these are examples from the previous class. Today, I would like for us to look at this activity. Instructions. Complete these conversations. Questions and answers must be in the simple past. For example, Monica, number one. Did you stay home on sat Saturday? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Evie's number three. Number three, okay. How did you how did you spend your last birthday? Oh sorry, number two. <laughs> Okay. Um, no, I didn't. I didn't call. I didn't call my friend. We drive. We, we drive. drove. The we answer drove. is drove. We ah, drove. Okay. Yes. Uh, no, I didn't. My friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. Do you know what is a cafe? Um, like restaurant? Una cafeteria, una, uh -huh. un comedor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Evis. David okay. Ernesto, number three. How did you spend your last birthday? Perfect. Excellent, David. Number four, Marta Menjivar. Okay. I had a party. Everyone enjoyed enjoyed it. 
but the neighbors not like the noise. Mm. <laughs> Here is the answer. This one. Repeat, please. I had a party. Everyone enjoyed, but the neighbors didn't like the noise. Perfect. Se comió el it, but that's okay. Everyone okay. enjoyed it, but the neighbors didn't like the noise. Thank you, Marta. Dalia Santos, number five. Eh, después le respondo a la pregunta, Monica. Vamos a resolverlo primero. Yes. Continue. What did you do last night? Perfect. What did you do last night? Nice. I like that. Roxana Amaya, number six. Six. I went to the new gym Favorite thing. Um, I love it. Excellent. Repeat after me. Loved. 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 It. Loved Excellent. It. Roxana. Reina Acosta. Number seven. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Perfect. Perfect. Edwin Giovanni, number eight. Edwin Giovanni, number eight. Perdón, perdón, el audio lo tenía desactivado. Perdón. <laughs> ok, ok, ok. <laughs> lo escuchamos, joven. <laughs> But, yes, yes, I did. I went sh shopping. Unfortunately, I spent all my money. No, I am broke. Excellent. Uh, repeat after me. Money. Money. Se escribe con O, pero se, se ah. pronuncia con A. Mo money. 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 Ma Ajá, money. Okay. Okay. ok, very good, Giovanni. The next one, number nine. Kayla López. Very good. Did you sing at the party? And the last one, Manuel Alejandro, number 10. Manuel Alejandro, number 10. Hello, Manuel Alejandro. Hello, hello. Manuel. Hello, Manuel. Okay, Manuel, tal vez está ocupado. Eh, Maritza Padilla. Maritza Padilla. Okay, tal vez está ocupada. Okay, Maritza, ¿estás allí? Hello? Okay, yo voy a hacer Hello. la última. Hey, uh, number 10, please. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay, number 10. No, I didn't. I was sick. I would like to give an applause for all the participants. Good job, everybody. Now, um, Monica, you had a question? 
Yeah, uh, my question is yes. in the uh, answers two and four, mm -hmm. you said the verb in past because don't use did. Uh, you said number two. Two. Ah, uh, yes. Uh -huh. It's because in this case, it's not a question. It's the response. You only use the verb in the simple form when you are making the question. If you make the question, the verb is going to be in the base form and the auxiliary did in the past. But if it's a response, the verb is always in the simple past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. More Is example. An... Oh, more another... explicación. No me queda muy claro del todo. Ah, okay. Cuando está haciendo la pregunta, el verbo mm -hmm. va en simple presente. Por ejemplo, yo te digo, eh, fuiste al cine el viernes pasado. Mm -hmm. Uh, una pregunta. Uh -huh. Did you go to the movies last Friday? So aquí el verbo es go. So el verbo está en simple presente. Uh -huh. El auxiliar did hace la pregunta en pasado. Pero cuando no es pregunta y es una respuesta, usted va a usar el verbo en simple presente. Usted dice, eh, fui a los planes. I went to los Planes. So, allí el verbo es went y está en simple pasado, que es el pasado de go. El presente uh, es go y el pasado es went. Ok. O digamos que le quiero preguntar, um, ¿usted comió eh, pupusas eh, ayer, por ejemplo? Mm -hmm. Did you eat pupusas yesterday? So, aquí vemos que el verbo es eat, eat. y está en simple present. Mm -hmm. Pero el auxiliar es did que está en simple pasado. ¿Por qué? Porque es pregunta. Pero mm -hmm. si tú dices, comí hamburguesa. I ate a hamburger. El verbo es ate oh. y allí sí está en pasado. Okay. ¿Te puede contestar una pregunta con did? Con did. Did. Uh -huh. Sí, puede responder. Si quiere responder su corta forma, por ejemplo, um, did you eat pupusas yesterday? Y usted dice, yes. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, I did. En el positivo. Uh -huh. Y no. I didn't. Ajá, correcto. No, I didn't en el pasado. Ok. When you use uh, yes, I do. Ah, yes, I do es cuando estás usando la pregunta en el presente. Por ejemplo, si yo te digo... Eh, ¿Vas a comer pupusas, por ejemplo? ¿Vas a comer pupusas right now? ¿You eat pupusas right now? Uh, no, no. Ahí, ahí sería como futuro. Porque está diciendo, vas a, vas a. Ahí estamos hablando del futuro. 
Ahí sería, are you going to eat pupusas? Estás usando el presente continuo como futuro. Y ellos te dicen, yes. En el caso mío, yes. Porque yo puedo comer pupusas, desayuno, almuerzo y cena. Y, y me encantan cada vez, especialmente si son las de Mama Chus. Yeah. <risa> yes, I am. O, oh, no, I am not. Pero, pero, digamos que quiero preguntarte en el presente, ¿te gustan las pupusas? Ahí sí. Do you like pupusas? Y tú me respondes, yes. Oops. Yes. I do. O digamos que si sos uh, de esas personas que siempre están cuidando la línea y que los carbohidratos aquí, que la celulitis por allá, y tú dices, ay, sh, no, yo no hago la pupusa. Tú dices, no, I don't. Okay. Right, si sí, es un negativo. Pero es un crimen decirle no a las pupusas hasta agua se me hasta agua se me está haciendo la boca estar hablando de pupusas <risa> la, es la verdad ok, okay. Thank eh. you, es que se parece mucho uh -huh. did, do, didn uh -huh. sí, es que son el mismo es que son el mismo o sea, es el mismo verbo do es el mismo did y es el mismo didn't. Es el mismo. La diferencia es que do está en presente, did está en pasado y didn't está en pasado negativo. Pero es el mismo auxiliar. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. Any Thank questions? You. Any questions? Thank you for your question. Anybody else have more questions? I have, I think you should, I have a uh, same question. Ah, okay. Ya pues yes. maté dos pajaritos mm -hmm. con un tiro. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> Somebody else? Somebody else? Question, question, question. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Question, question, question. Okay. So let's continue. For the next activity, you are going to move forward. And we're going to look at lesson 2.5. In this session, Participants will listen to a conversation using past simple. Pay attention for details and pronunciation. En esta sesión, los participantes escucharán una conversación en pasado simple. Ponga atención a detalles y pronunciación. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready. All right. Yes. I like yes. that. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. We're going to listen to the conversation. Listen to the conversation. Listening. What did you do last? Can night? everybody hear? Part A. Listen Can everybody hear? Laura, describe what yes. This night. Okay. Yes, did you? Check the correct okay. information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? 
Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, repeat or you got it. Oh, you got it. Repeat. Got repeat. It. Repeat. <laughs> Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. Now, at this moment, I would like for everybody to work in pairs and practice the audio. Any questions? No. Yeah. I can't. Uh... Hay que escuchar el audio una that, y otra vez para poder dar. That's correct. That is correct. Uh, repeat before the audio. That's right. Repeat, okay. repeat as much as possible. Are you ready? In pairs. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Do you have Hello? Ya le respondió usted. Le contestó. Sí. I understand. I not understand. Yeah. No se oye. Hola. No se escucha el audio. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm. It sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, we'll listen again. Um, again, pero este podría, o sea, yo entendí que lo vamos a escuchar, lo vamos a pronunciar, porque hay que practicarlo. Okay. ¿verdad? Y okay. podemos, lo puede poner así como de, 
poco. Va, está bien. A ver, ok, próximo. gracias. Listening. Part A. Anna and Laura describe what they did. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went. So, what did you do last night, John? Um? Oh. So, you asked me this question, that question. So, what did you do? Last night. Night. Okay. It was night. Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. He says, I went to my, I went to my boss. Uh, his dinner. I think, I think that. Really? How was it? Really? Oh, the food was okay, but the oh, the food that's okay. The people weren't very interesting. I think he said uh, that uh, he was with with people they talked about football all night and i and then he talked he talked about football all night i hate football then he Hate football. Then we watch some boring sports videos. And then he was watching videos again. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, um, well, that doesn't sound like much fun. What did she say? Oh, because uh, respond to the question. Hi. Por qué no no respondemos las preguntas, Reina? Está bien. Okay. Oh. De yeah. Una yeah. What is the answer in question one? Who had a boring time? Is John. John. And number two, who had a time? It is um, Laura. 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 Number three. To me and an old friend. Laura. Number four. Who got home late? Bot. Bot, yes. We listen. Uh, the audio again. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay. But the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. Uh, 
I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen it in years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Going out. We, we listen again. Sí, eh, tal vez me puede ayudar porque en la última de leer, eh, no logro identificar eh, lo que dice el audio. Ajá, exacto. Lo, ok, eh, escuchemos otra vez. All right, are you finished, guys? Yes, yeah, Okay. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish. Finish. Um, so, so. Finish. <laughs> okay. Finish. Let Finish. me have, let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer. Alguien que no ha participado. Uno que no ha participado. Bueno, lo voy a elegir yo. El que menos habla. Vamos a ver. Ini mini, miny mo. Catch the tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Ini mini, miny. Hector Granados no ha dicho mucho hoy. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Okay. All right. Uh, number one. Okay. What is number Go one? Have a boring time. Uh, Go have a boring time. Who? Uh, uh, Who? Repeat, John. please. Repeat, please. Okay. Who? Okay. Who? Ah. Who? Okay. John okay. is correct. Uh, number two. No, 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 no. That's it. That's it. Uh, only, time. Uh. only, only number one. Number two is another participant. So number okay, one okay. is John. Select somebody, Hector, for number two. <laughs> Seleccione a otro participante para que vea número dos. Ok. Eh, eh, Mónica. Mónica. Number <laughs> two. Ok. Number two. Who had a good time? Laura. Excellent. Very good. Mónica, select somebody. Um, I, I choose. Kayla Lopez. Kayla Lopez. Number three. Number three. Who mm -hmm. meet an old friend? Laura. Laura. Excellent. Kayla selects somebody. Reina Acosta. Reina Acosta, number four. Who got come late? Is both. Both. Oh, are both. Are both. Uh, okay. In this case, you, uh, in this case, guys, eh, <laughs> le voy a decir en español, en este caso, o si tú quieres decir los dos. Uh -huh. Right? Solo decís both. Both. Uh -huh. That's it. 
Okay. All right. Applause for the participants. Good job. Does anybody have questions related to this uh, listening exercise? Pronunciation, intonation, phonetic grammar, grammar, uh, something that you didn't understand? The old conversation, I have problems to repeat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's I normal. understand all conversation, but I I try to uh, segment that. Uh, follow. Uh -huh. uh, the old conversation, but it's very hard, difficult. Mm -hmm. That's normal, that's normal. Um, in my experience, when I first arrived to El Salvador, for me, it was difficult to listen to people uh, speaking in Spanish and understand. I would understand mm -hmm. like only the Finnish. Eh, aquí, eh, Mario Sagrasa, eh, soy apango, Sebria, policía, Sebria, Univision. Okay. <laughs> so, and I'm like, oh my God, why sh does she talk so fast? Mm -hmm. You know, I understood Maria Peraza, soy apango, police, Univision. That's it, <laughs> you know, and she was talking, 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 and I'm like, oh my God, I don't understand. Yeah. Okay, now, now, now is easy for me to understand people speaking Spanish fast. But uh, for example, I was teaching, um, I was teaching English in a university and my student says, teacher, I have a question. And I said, how, oh, okay. Uh, what is your question? Eh, in Spanish teacher, in Spanish. And I said, ah, oh, okay. Ask me in Spanish. And I'm like, <laughs> I said, hey, hey, I said wait a, yeah, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, First. <laughs> yeah, <True>. yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, so this is a development. Now, it takes time, it takes practice, it takes discipline. Um, when you are in your free time and you are watching a movie, you put the audio in English and you put the subtitle in English. And that's going to help you uh, little by little, little by little is going to help you develop the, the radio. Like the, like, you know how, when you're looking for a radio frequency, yeah. right? And you're like, <laughs> right? So you play with the frequency so the same is the audio, right? Listening to music, um, watching movies, reading books. I read every day. Do you want to see my books? Let me show you my books. Okay, so Mr. Santos reads books. This is a history book. History book. It's about World War II, uh, very important events in history. All right, this is a very, very. Oh, okay. Can you see? Hi. Uh -huh. The history of okay. Hitler. 
it's, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's about Hitler, World War II. It's a very, very interesting book. When I finish this book, I'm going to read it again. Okay, this book is like boom in your brain. So this is my pleasure book. Now I am reading Organizational Culture and Leadership. This is a powerful book, Liderazgo y Cultura, right? This book is for education, uh, strategies, organization, culture, uh, projection, development. I mean, this book is incredible. It's an incredible book. Culture and leadership. In English, these books are in English. In Spanish? <laughs> in Spanish, I am reading La Esposa Entre Nosotros. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a drama. Okay. <laughs> you know, it, it helps me understand the mentality of the opposite sex. So Never. it's, yeah, <laughs> it's a good book. Greer, <laughs> Hendricks, and Sarah Pickenin. Two women wrote this book. So it's a really good book. La Esposa Entre Nosotros. Soy novelero. <laughs> <laughs> but it's in Spanish. It's in Spanish. So I read in English and I read in Spanish. Why? Why? Because I need information. I need to understand different things. Uh, David, teacher. you raise your hand. Te teacher, cuando usted leía un libro en español, de una sola vez iba traduciendo palabra por palabra. No, no. Eh, uh, I read like this. I read like this. Las manos de Richard sobre su vientre. Okay, sorry. Ella vive en una calle ajetreada. La ciudad de Nueva York tiene decenas de cuadros, cuadras como la suya. Ni elegantes ni pobres, sino en alguna parte en la franja ancha del medio. So I have to read... Why? Because this helps me practice. It helps me think. It it projects me. It it makes me. Eh, como yo solo pienso inglés, inglés. En mi trabajo, inglés. Eh, con mi jefe, inglés. Con mis clientes, inglés. Escribo, inglés. Leo, inglés. Veo tele, inglés. Música, inglés. So, tomo tiempo para también enriquecer mi español. Y qué man mejor manera de enriquecer mi español leyendo. Enriquecer. 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 Uh -huh. Así como nosotros que estamos aprendiendo el español, uh -huh. eh, el inglés. Uh -huh. Cuando leemos un libro en inglés eh, uh -huh. y no entendemos alguna parte de la oración, no importa, no la traducimos. Eh, hay dos tipos de lecturas, tres tipos de lecturas. Eh, lectura por placer. Por ejemplo, estos dos libros yo los estoy leyendo por placer. La esposa entre nosotros y When Hitler took cocaine and Lenin lost his brain. Estos son mis libros de placer. Este libro no es de placer. Este libro es de Aprendizaje. Aquí yo estoy aprendiendo sobre cómo establecer una cultura dentro de una empresa. Cómo entender a mis trabajadores y ver cómo yo los puedo guiar a donde quiero que lleguen, pero dentro de su cultura. Esto aquí ya no es solamente estoy aquí, like, que chivo. No, aquí estoy viéndolo. Escribo en una libreta, busco en Google, 
eh, busco imágenes para entender cómo se aplica o cómo puedo yo, yo soy bien visual, so es otro tipo de lectura, right? So, si usted está aprendiendo el lenguaje, tiene que leer, tomar nota, eh, hacer una base de vocabulario aparte. A mí me ayuda mucho lo que son las flashcards, eh, las tarjetitas. Eh, nosotros le decimos flashcards, que son como tarjetitas de cartón. En un lado mm -hmm. pones la palabra y en el otro lado la definición, un ejemplo, si es un nombre, si es un verbo, la numeraz, la categorizas, haces un tu propio diccionario visual, lo vas mm -hmm. almacenando, lo vas repasando, right? Y eso va creando un, una base de vocabulario amplio. Okay. Así como estabas en la universidad. Cuando le, leías libro de psicología, sociología, biología, ciencia, eh, ley, gobierno, lectura, right? Tú estabas tomando apuntes. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Hey. But in English, I think that is complicated because uh, some words change the meaning in the in the sentences in the sentences, in the in sentences. sentences. Yes. yes yes that is correct um that's why eh, allí implica la parte de la cultura eh, porque por ejemplo eh, la palabra vimos como la palabra break tiene cuatro significados right dependiendo del contexto Um, so, ¿qué se puede hacer para diferir los diferentes significados de las palabras en su contexto? A mí me ayuda mucho, eh, digamos, una herramienta Netflix. Tú pones una serie y ahí estás viendo las muecas, los movimientos, el vestuario. Tú ya relacionas cierto vocabulario a esa área, right? si es en una oficina, si es en un parque, si es en, una, en un evento en, de una competición. Eh, eso va ayudando a entender un poco de la cultura idiomática. Obviamente eh, no vas a captar el 100% y no lo vas a hacer en un año. Obviamente, eso va a ser algo que va a tomar años de práctica, viajar, eh, juntarte con personas que traen esa cultura. Por ejemplo, te voy a dar un ejemplo. Eh, yo creo que tenía como cinco, cinco semanas de estar en El Salvador y yo estaba eh, a Metro Centro. Y estaba un, una pareja a la par mía y el muchacho se sube al bus y, y abre la ventana y le dice a la chera adiós y le dice ella eh, me llamas y le dijo el chivo y yo los estaba escuchando ahí metido ahí. y estos dos. <ríe> Para eso no se estudia <ríe> y ya, ya nace. Y me quedé yo en mi cerebro, right? Eh, entendí casi todo, pero la parte que le dijo chivo, eh, yo me quedé así, right? Chivo, chivo. Eh, yo lo traducí como baby goat. Uh -huh. Un chivo Cabra. es un, un baby goat, Ajá, una cabrita, una baby, uh -huh. una, una cabrita baby. Y yo no entendía por qué él le respondió chivo. Tal, dije yo, tal vez ese es el apodo de ella. Así le dice de cariño, baby goat. <risa> you know, como tú le dices a tu novia, hey baby. Yo dije, tal vez aquí le dicen, hey baby goat. No sé, o sea, no. <risa> I, I was like, I didn't understand. Right? Entendí que era caliche. 
era, era que quiere decir como que si yo te digo, ah, cool, right? No te estoy diciendo, hey, helado. Te estoy uh -huh. diciendo, ok, está bueno. Right? So, yeah, Ibis tiene mucha razón. Bastantes palabras cambian de significado dependiendo de su contexto. Thank you, Ibis, eh, por traer ese punto. Uh, David, ¿tiene la mano levantada? No, este, ahorita la bajo. All right, that's cool, that's cool. All right, so, uh, no es algo imposible, guys. Um, créanme que yo, desde que tengo ya de dar clases de inglés, he visto alumnos eh, que han venido desde cero English y ahora me los encuentro en la micro, me, en la multiplaza. Hey, teacher, uh, Michael King, what's up? Yo, yo, what's going on? <laughs> you know, llegan a la mesa, me saludan, me dicen, mira, soy supervisor en Sykes. Estoy en la cuenta uh, MetLife que es una de las cuentas más avanzadas que tiene Sykes, es Supervisor, mm -hmm. ganando $2,500 dólares solo aquí. <laughs> yes, yes. Let me, let me call you next week. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Hello, Maria. Hello. <laughs> Como son puertas, es una aseguradora. Right? Ah. Y eso es todo, estar hablando allí con viejitos. ¿Y cómo estás? Y dime qué pasó. Y that's it. Y hacer los reportes. Easy money. O sea, dice que puede llegar en jeans, en shorts, en centro. Casi mejor que yo. <risa> Pero no igual. Casi, casi. Casi, uh -huh. casi. Le faltó la maca. <risa> All right. Any more questions, guys? No teacher. No question. No okay. So you can do it. You know, you got to have discipline, work. It's not easy. Pero como dicen, ¿verdad? Si quieres tener cuerpo como la roca, la roca se levanta a las cuatro de la mañana. Así que <laughs> tienes que hacer lo mismo. Si quieres vivir como rey, ¿tú crees que un rey duerme bien? El rey trabaja más que todos. Right, so, no es solo yo quiero aquí, yo quiero allá. You gotta work for it, work for it. Right, yo tengo tres trabajos. Tres trabajos. Esta no es mi última clase. Ahorita voy con unos chinos. Oh my goodness. Oh, right. Es la mejor hora de hacer dinero porque los chinos están despertando. Los yeah. japoneses también. Okay. Right. It's my money. Eh, mientras otros están en la discoteca. Mr. Santos <laughs> está aquí making money. Uh, David levantó la mano. No, solo una por curiosidad. ¿Por, ¿Por qué vino El Salvador? Sí. ¿O para qué? Eh, es una larga y complicada historia. En su tiempo... Yo les voy a compartir eso. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. Good night. See you. Good night. 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 Bye. Bye. Enjoy your weekend. Happy weekend. Thank you. Thank you. My weekend, organizational leadership. <laughs> La esposa nice. entre nosotros. <laughs> Cuando Hitler nice. le hacía la cocaína. <laughs> see you on the, see you Monday, right? Monday, see you Monday. Pero si tienen preguntas, consultas, eh, no tenga pena. All right, yo paso okay. conectado. O sea, mi trabajo es conectado. Así que yo paso okay. conectado, right? Okay. Usted, usted okay. le está ayudando a ustedes, o usted haciendo compra de casas, o vendiendo casas, o haciendo otros negocios, siempre estoy conectado. Ok, thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good, right. Good night. Good night, guys. Bye bye. Good.